hello dear students this is the second lecture of the lecture series gene mutations and we will be discussing spontaneous mutation in this lecture so what are spontaneous mutations they are mutations which are naturally occurring mutations and in the first part of this mutation lecture series we have discussed that there are three molecular mechanisms for the spontaneous mutation first is replication error uh, which happens because of tautomers second is deamination and depurination uh, we have already discussed the first mechanism in first lecture of mutation but i am repeating it again so in replication error which is because of the tautomeric shift of bases uh, what happens that watson and crick uh, they had suggested that a possible mechanism of spontaneous mutation or natural mutations is that uh, it happens in DNA when it is in replicating state and not in unreplicated state and it happens because of the presence of tautomers of bases which are present in the same system where the DNA is replicating and it can cause abnormal base pairing. So, the rate of spontaneous tautomeric shifts is low and because of this, the mutation frequency is also low in spontaneous mutation. In standard form of basis, thymine exists in keto form and its tautomeric form is enol form. So, we have already discussed this in first lecture that thymine can exist in keto form as well as in all form guanine the standard form of guanine is keto and the tautomeric form is in all cytosine the standard form is amino and the um, tautomeric form is amino and again the adenine is the standard form is amino and its tautomeric form is amino so watson and crick had recognized that purines and pyrimidines could, could exist in tautomeric forms and tautomers are uh, nitrogenous bases that can exist in their alternate chemical forms which are structural isomers and these differ by only a single protein shift in molecule <clears throat> so we have already discussed in the first lecture and this lecture just now that biologically active tautomers of these bases are keto in all form of thymine and guanine where the keto form of thymine and guanine is st standard form and in all form of thymine and guanine is tautomeric form and amino amino form of cytosine and adenine where the amino form of cytosine and adenine is standard form while amino form of cytosine and adenine are tautomeric forms so tautomeric sh uh, shifts can result in the base pair ch <coughs> changes or mutations due to changes now these in are the structure structure of uh, molecule of these bases and you can refer the book Clug and Cummings for this so here you can see that thymine the keto form is standard and elon form is your tautomer then guanine keto form is standard in all form is tautomer cytosine amino form is uh, standard amino form is tautomer then adenine also amino form is tautom uh, is standard and amino is tautomer so the stable tautomers of nitrogenous base result in the standard base pairing which serves the basis of double helix model and the abnormal base pairing happens when they are present in their tautomeric forms for example here you can see that when the cytosine is in amino form then instead of uh, bonding with here you can see that when cytosine is in amino form instead of pairing with guanine it is pairing with adenine and when the thymine is in enol form which is the tautomeric form of thymine instead of pairing with uh, adenine it is pairing with guanine so this is resulting in transition events and then here the, you can see the structures here uh, the same thing is represented that uh, tautomer of 
uh, thymine which is in all form it is pairing with uh, guanine instead of adenine and the tautomer of cytosine in amino form is pairing with adenine instead of guanine again the same slide is represented the same picture which i have taken from clug and cummings is represented here now here you can see in dur during replication that these are two strands of dna for four with four different bases and the thymine has bonded with adenine here the adenine is in standard form it means the adenine is present in the amino form that is why it is bonding with thymine but when the dna starts replicating and the two strands of dna separate uh, the adenine converts or shifts from its standard amino form to amino form for very short time and because of this tautomeric shift to amino form of adenine now instead of pairing with uh, thymine in its tautomeric form it will pair with cytosine so this is called anomalous ca base pairing or abnormal base pairing because adenine is pairing with cytosine instead of thymine now in the next round of replication this tautomer again the amino amino form of adenine is shifts back to the amino form so these tautomers can shift back to their original for, forms uh, but now here what is happening when the dna replication has is, takes place this strand has already got c so this uh, cytosine will now pair with guanine and this adenine will now pair with thymine normally but before this the mutation has happened so now you can see that instead of uh, at which was the original ta now the this is your cg so what is this this is an example of transition mutation because a has been replaced here you can see a has been replaced with g and t has been replaced with c so the purines have been replaced with purine and the pyrimidines have been replaced with pyrimidine that is why this is an example of transition mutation and here you have to show it to the original strand where uh, the base was present that is why the transition mutation is happening so this is the first mechanism of spontaneous mutation where we have discussed that it happens because of uh, tautomers now the second mechanism for spontaneous mutation is deamination and as the name suggests deamination means removal of amino group so the removal of a, an amino group from a base is called deamination and here we will discuss the first example when the cytosine from the cytosine base which is a pyrimidine when deamination of cytosine happens then it it converts to uracil now uracil is not a normal base for dna but it is a base for rna and uracil will bond with uh, adenine so it also because of this deamination reaction it also results in transition event how we will see now you can see that this is the normal gc this is a normal base but this c has now converted to uracil because of deamination and now when the dna replication happens so when these two strands of dna separate now you can see that instead of bonding with g now the uracil will bond with adenine here because it has the uh, it is its normal a uh, base uh, bonding now you can see that in the next round of replication here you can see that this when these two dna strands separate the thymine adenine will pair with thymine so when you compare it with the original the gc has been replaced with uh, at and this is an example of transition event so uh, there is a repair system which replaces most of the uracils in the dna and minimizes mutation but if they are not replaced it results in gc to at transition mutation and it is because adenine will be incorporated into new dna strand opposite to it and finally this event will happen so, so gc has converted to at and this is an example of transition mutation 
So what is deamination? The removal of a, an amino group from a base is called deamination. And this is the second example of deamination we are discussing. So 5-methyl cytosine which is also present in the system along with cytosine. Uh, in organisms, when 5-methyl cytosine deaminates, it converts to thiamine and DNA of both bacteria and eukaryotes, they contain small amounts of modified base called 5-methyl cytosine in no a place of normal cytosine. Deamination of 5-methyl cytosine is resulting in thiamine, but thiamine instead of bonding with, uh, thiamine usually bonds with uh, the uh, adenine. So here you can see that uh, G is when guanine is bonded with 5-methyl cytosine. This 5-methyl cytosine when deamination takes place it is converted to thymine and this thymine along with this this is as bonded with guanine. So in the next round of replication now the thymine will bond with adenine and so now this you can see that in next round of replication when you compare it with the original strand the gc has been replaced with at so this is an example of transition mutation so here we have discussed two examples of uh, transition mutation in deamination therefore deamination of 5 methyl cytosine it results in transition mutation and most importantly because most of the mutations are corrected by repair mechanisms, but 5-methyl cytosine mutations are less likely to be corrected. So, the locations of these 5-methyl cytosine mutations in genome are called mutational hotspots because here the nucleotides have more than higher uh, frequency of mutation. That is why they are called mutational hotspots. Now the third mechanism of spontaneous mutation is depurination and what is depurination? It leads to loss of a purine from the DNA. So de depurination as the name suggests, it is removal of a purine. It happens because of hydrolysis of covalent bond between sugar and base and it results in apurinic site. So depurination occurs because of the bond between a deoxyribose sugar and a purine is weaker compared to the deoxyribose sugar and pyrimidine. So this bond is prone to damage or breakage. If this breakage occurs, then any base can come and attach uh, there and it results in transversion or it can happen, uh, it, it can result in transition event also or the DNA polymerase can dissociate from the DNA as there is no base to specify a complementary base during replication. So depurination and deamination, it leads to damaged sites or lesions during replication and depurination and deamination, uh, they are repaired by base excision repair systems. So now spontaneous mutation can also occur because of addition and deletion of a base and additions and deletions can occur spontaneously. So when they occur, this is because of displacement looping out of bases from either the template or growing DNA strand generally in regions where a, there is a run of same base or repetitive sequences of bases are present. So when deletion happens the DNA loops out from a template strand uh, and DNA polymerase skips the looped out bases or bases producing deletion mutation in new strand in addition mutation uh, the DNA polymerase uh, synthesizes an untemplated base or bases uh, in the new DNA and the new DNA loops out from the template producing an addition. So here this picture is from uh, a Russell book and here you can see that uh, this is showing uh, the looping out of new strand uh, in um, uh, looping of the uh, new strand and here you can see the looping out of template strand. So it results in deletion and this mechanism the looping of the new strand happens in addition. So I hope you have understood uh, spontaneous mutation and you can refer different books for this. So thank you uh, students we will be meeting in next lecture now.